Have you ever had a Hydro Ranger that you thought was not displaying the correct values or locking in onto false echoes? One of the unique features of the Hydro Ranger HMI over its predecessors is the new GUI interface allowing you to view any echoes that the transducer would see. To access this, we must first hit right arrow key. We scroll down to maintenance and diagnostics. Diagnostics and echo profile. Now, before we get in here, this transducer was set up for a 10 foot measurement range with 10 foot span. We know that the physical material is actually around three and a half feet, but we are picking up an echo much closer to the face, somewhere around six and a half feet from the bottom. So we hit right arrow to take a look at the echoes themselves. And we notice that there are two very prominent echoes. One we know is the true level, but then there's a secondary value closer to the front. We confirmed this earlier that this was an obstruction. There are a few ways to omit this obstruction from our calculations. One would be by choosing, possibly choosing a different algorithm. The A colon BLF signifies that we are using the algorithm called best of largest first. So we could possibly use an algorithm that did not include the first parameter. But as you can tell, the two echoes actually are very similar in size as they cross the dotted line or our threshold. So let's try the auto false echo suppression. To get into the suppression, we go into setup, signal processing, TVT setup, and here we are able to turn the auto suppression off and on set the calculated range that we want to suppress. Early, if you notice, the first or uh, false echo was around three and a half feet from the face of the transducer, where the second echo, which we believe to be true, was about six feet down from the face of the transducer. So if we were to choose a value around four and a half, This should be sufficient to get us around the false peak. So we first set our range. We scroll up. We ask the transmitter to learn. As you see, it just flashed. The auto suppression is now on. Now earlier, we were displaying a level of six feet, but we know that was not the correct value. Hopefully, when we back out, we should see the true value of around 3.5 feet, signifying our auto suppression worked. Let's give it a second. And there we have it. We just set auto false echo suppression to eliminate the false echo. If you want we can actually jump back in and take a quick peek of what that looks like now. And as you can tell, the dotted line or TVT curve superimposed itself around the false echo, leaving only 
the true echo left 